Hello everyone, today's video is going to be day 9 of our standard edition Escape from Tarkov playthrough. Now just a reminder that this series is live stream, so if you want to catch us when we go live, make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell button so you get notified of when that happens. If you're looking for the full unedited VODs of this series, make sure you hit that blue join button and become a channel member, as $5 members and up get access to all the unedited VODs as well as exclusive videos. But with that all out of the way guys, today's video is going to be some awesome raids on Interchange, Shoreline, and Woods. We do actually end up naming our foul in this video as well, because I know you guys have been asking to do that. As always guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content, and enjoy the show. So, first raid of the day guys, we're trying to get that logistics manifest from Ollie. Let's see how it goes. Alright. Ooh, for some reason my game is running really smooth right now. Uh, we're gonna opt not to go for those caches, mainly because I do want to get... Uh, actually, you know what? We will. We're gonna double back. Lost a little time here. Uh, but we're gonna go back and hit these caches for the money. Mainly because our... It's a player. I'm going to try to flank him on the left, but we're really spread out here. Mainly what I want to do is lock down the, uh, the road here so we can't get out. Fuck. Uh, I don't really want to hunt this guy down. There's no real need. I think we tagged him a little bit, but I messed up a couple of my shots. Hey, it's gonna happen. First, uh, first raid of the day, you know. We'll see at the end in end stats if we tagged him up at all. Alright, so because we saw that player run that direction, that pretty much means there should be no players here because the player that spawned over here ran that direction. So we're, I would bet like 90% clear. My only threat is if the guy comes back this direction, but there's no real reason he should because we pushed him off um, pretty heavily there. All right, so as always, you're going to want to multitask as much as possible. So hit the stash or you're hitting the stash, load your mag, right? Multitasking is very efficient. Very good. Take the palm juice and then we're going to move and then we'll finish loading the mags in the next stash. But yeah, even uh, even though we're like level 20 something, I still recommend hitting these stashes just because they're worth like They're worth good money. You can find like lines and stuff in here. You never know what you Ooh, this looks like a good one There's something here a gun maybe Oh an AKS not really worth that much, but we might need it. So it's a good pickup So if anyone was going to come to us, it'd be someone on the far left coming from that side spawn. But I doubt, I doubt that someone would come this direction this, uh, at this timing. Another CMS, that's cool. Condensed milk sells for 20k, that's not a bad pickup at all. Name the foul, yeah, we'll name the foul at the end of this stream. We're going to pull out the foul. We need that for a quest, so we'll go ahead and replace this. We'll keep moving. We're trying to push the Ollie to get that, uh... That's a new scav spawn. That is a new scav spawn. Ow. I've never seen a scav spawn over there. A lot of stuff they're changing. I mean, I like it. I like it. Keeping things, uh, keeping things interesting. I'm down with it. I've never seen a scav spawn there in the ditch. All right, we made a lot of noise, so I'm, I want to loot them fast. Drop that in there. Stop. Grab it. Uh, nope. Pockets. Sure. Yeah, that's so weird. I've seen them spawn in the checkpoint, but never down here. Alright. 
We need to heal the thorax up ASAP. And then we need to pop a pain to get clear vision. Alright, and then we're gonna keep pushing to Ollie. Alright. Just gonna use this to check stuff out real fast. The whole reason for going in the bus is it breaks up my silhouette a little bit, and the glass will help keeping people from looking at me. I just wanna make sure this is clear before I push across this open. Because we are kinda late into the raid. And people could be anywhere right now. I'm not gonna stay still, especially with this much open ground, because I don't want to get headshot out of nowhere. Alright, it looks pretty clear. We're gonna see if we can get across. I'm gonna go follow the tree line in, just because it breaks up, like, my silhouette a little bit more as well. Offers a little bit of concealment. And, uh, you know, sometimes that could be the matter between life and death. I'm gonna save up sprint for this last push in. I'm gonna go around the right because I don't want to go in through that uh, little chokehold. I want to kind of hear. The second I go into any building, I try to slow down and stop and get a earful of what's going on. Because uh, sounds change pretty dramatically once you enter a building. And you'll be able to hear certain things differently. I want to be careful here, because like I said, we're coming in late to the raid. There's glass on the floor here. There's also a metal sheet you need to be careful of. You never want to go up the escalators when going into the mall, because it's metal, and it will make a lot of noise. That's out behind me. We might go check this out. We're going to check this out. Because I don't want this guy coming in behind me. The last thing I want to do is get pinched on those stairs. So, usually right there, what you got to do is commit. You either go front or go back. This guy's shooting something big, maybe an ADAR. Kind of odd that we're hearing all these shots but not seeing any movement. It's a kind of a red flag. So one one thing that could happen is he couldn't could have gotten dropped long range by a suppressed weapon. That is a possible outcome of this situation. In which case we don't really want to be messing around too much here. I'm also wearing a big ass Barney bag, so I'm not sure how much of my Back is covered by this tree because of the Barney bag. I hear movement left. Yeah, there he is. I'm gonna press because I know I lit him up. Did I bring frags? Of course I didn't. Cardinal Sin. Kick out the mag. Gonna flank him on his left. I need a PK to stabilize my aim. I think we play range a little bit here. We're going to stop bleeding. I'm getting third partied on the right. This is bad. He's got to be wearing armor because I clapped him in the chest a couple times and he ate it. I'm going to take this time to heal up. And then got to check right third party. If that right player is good, he's going to push push the advantage. But I can't tell if he's shooting at me from that third story. We're going to just push into this guy. 
We have to commit to a fight. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we got caught there. There was someone on the right sniping us, and we kind of got pushed into that one guy on the left. We hit him so many times. He must be been wearing some level four or something armor. Because we're shooting uh, M80 at him. But good fight. Yeah, we just got pushed into him. We couldn't sit there. Good fight, good fight. Or we did kill him. Okay, so we traded with him. <laughs> we, did, uh, we did end up trading with him. Uh, so good fight on that guy. Whew. That was an intense first round, dude. So we traded with him. Um, he shot us in the head. I'm, I'm guessing we shot him in the head. But that third guy spooked me on the right flank. Oh, well. So we missed a whole bunch of our opening shots there, and we really paid for it. We ended up getting pinched because we couldn't drop that first player. And you know, potato aim, that's a serious condition that all players face in their first raid of the day. Nothing to do but to move on to the second raid. We're still taking in a Vepra Hunter, but this time I take the dumb OKP site because I totally thought it was going to be something like the Sandstorm OKP site. And uh, we end up getting into this raid, trying to get that logistics manifest once again and getting out alive so we can finish the quest. All right. Oh, this is not the OKP I was thinking of. I I take back everything. One hundred percent not the OKP I was thinking of. He's dead, right? Please tell me he's dead. Yeah. Okay. This is this is not gonna work. This uh this site here is no bueno. I fucked up, guys. All right. Well, since we took the dumb uh OKP in, we are going to have to play like point blank ra uh, range because there's no way I'm hitting precision shots with this BS. I check our back for players coming in behind us. All right, just gonna go fast up this. All right, so we're just gonna hug the dark side of Ollie around to get to our quest. Air filter is good, worth a decent chunk of money. Always check these shelves, some good industrial loot. Especially if you're trying to do your industrial quest. Light bulbs and stuff like that. It is so dark in here now. I can't see anything. Like, I've always considered, like, just bringing a pair of shitty nods to fuck around in the back here. It's not worth it, but... I really dislike the amount of varying lighting it, that, that's on this map. Like, I've always hated that because it hurts my eyes, dude. Actually hurts my eyes to play this map. So as soon as I came around that corner, I checked the top right there because people can get up on top of that scaffolding and absolutely just bend you, bend you over if you're not paying any attention. He saw me. God damn it. He didn't shoot, which is good, but he saw me. To scav. So, like I said, him being alive is a good sign because it means that most of this should be clear. Back there won't be because players can sneak around back there without triggering the, uh, the scav. But right here, this section should be somewhat okay. Sounds like the bot or the scav. We're just gonna keep going. I want to kind of leave him up because he'll serve as an early warning system. 
My frames are much better. Stutter is still happening, but. I just want to get out of dodge right there pretty fast. You can loot the back here. Usually this is pretty quiet. Let's just be real. Ooh. Lots of money on this raid. Uh, that's a good ass find. Ooh. Oh, did they do a new? This is a new uh, model, I think, or picture of that suppressor. All right, so we're pretty much going to get our quest and head out. What's our extract? Emercom? No. Oh. They added new extracts. Railway scaf. Oh, nice. Nice. They're really, they're really focusing on interchange. And I really need to get into a better habit of reading the patch notes. But that's awesome. Okay. So more extracts. Dope. Dope. I like it. I have no idea where they are, but I like it. That's right out front here. Sounds like maybe tech light and then that's outside so this might get this might get spicy as we try to extract this might get a little spicy i totally want that cpu fan so we're kind of doing a loot slash quest run right now if you couldn't tell by the amount of garbage I'm picking up. Do I only play solo? On this playthrough, yes. Mainly because if I play with a team, I can't commentate because I'm busy communicating. So, I figure with all the new players in tar- Ooh, this is a good raid for us. We want to get out alive. Uh, with all the new players, it's a great time to do a fresh playthrough and try to like walk you guys through my thought process. Help you guys out a little bit. What is this? Ooh, yeah, yeah, I like it, I like it. All right, let's get out of here. We got a lot of loot, we killed two scavs, we should be good. The only thing is there were gunshots outside, so it's gonna be a little sketch. So, we're gonna just try to push out of here. Check downstairs real fast. Alright, we're gonna push to that, uh, tree line again. Use that tree line to walk our way up. Right here. Don't stay still. We're in a straight line. Keep it moving. I want to manage a good amount of our stam here. And then we do have to be careful because there were gunshots up here. From earlier. So a lot of- we're gonna probably hug this tree line and use this tree line to break our silhouette moving this direction. I normally would try to get in the ditch down there, but I don't know what the deal is with that player. Or whatever it is that's over here, so I'm gonna- Distance myself a little bit from checkpoint just because they could be over there We're pretty safe right here with trees on the left and the right and we got the stage we can run to so I'm gonna try to get some stamina back I Scroll up on my scroll wheel to get an eye on my stamina. It's just one way you can do it I keep going along this tree line here a lot of Tarkov is being able to use certain objects to your advantage, whether it be cover and concealment. You get the hang of, like, knowing where certain objects are in relation to where you are. You can, like, run away from things while keeping things behind you. Uh, making sure you're covered on the left and right without looking there. Just something that you can improve on. A lot of us who play first-person shoot first shooters do this automatically. But definitely something you want to get better at is spatial awareness at things you're, you're not directly looking at. Just so you know, like, your back is covered or your side is covered by something. We're gonna burn sprint to get out of this open. <sighs> and 
and then push you the tree line. And I want to get to low ground as soon as I can. Hopefully no one's camping extract. I very rarely get camped on this side. But if they do end up camping on this side of the extract, they're usually upright on the little hill to the right of the extract. Um, because there's elevation there and they can see. Alright, so not too exciting of a raid. But if we get out, it will be a very lucrative raid. We're going to take this time in the low ground. So like right here, we're pretty safe from all angles just because we're in a dip. We're going to use our time here wisely and get our stand back. I'm not going to waste time going for the cashews just because my bag is already full. And we have the quest item. I'm not really looking to die right next to extract. So once again, coming up on extract, I'm going to check the right side. Right there, that bush. That's where they like to sit if they're camping it because they can see and snipe from there. So far, so good. Save sprint for this last bit here, and then burn it. Dope. Okay, we got our quest item. Got a lot of loot to recoup some of our losses. Uh, and a couple of scav kills, which is always good. Some XP. Alright. With our first quest of the day done and our first successful extraction, it was time to move over to woods to complete our quest where we have to get that folder out of the bunkhouse. Now we're taking in an AKM with a monstrum site just for that extra range, but this quest is extremely dangerous because the item is in the center of the lumber yard. So let's see how we do. And so like I took a break and started playing EVE online. And so that's what we've been doing a lot in my free time. I've, been, I've just been playing Tarkov, some squad on the side, and then EVE online is like my free time game now. I've been playing so much EVE online. What is it that I love about EVE? It's got a lot of crossover between military, sh uh, like, tactical shooters. Uh, at least the scale of it. Like, you know how you have platoon combat and squad? In EVE, you have, like, massive fleet combat. Like, massive fleet combat. Coordination, logistics teams, running supplies. Um, like, it has everything like that. It's, it's insane. EVE has, like, got so much crossover with military, like, simulation games. But in EVE, everything you do matters. It, it, you're literally writing history in a in a nerdy way. Hey, Jay, thanks for the 10. I appreciate it, brother. Oh, shit, bro. This is why you check jackets. This is exactly why you check jackets. Bruh, yeah, hell yeah, keys. Jackets are easy money. Always loot jackets when you see them. Easy money. Oh, God. Streamer loot today. Did they buff spawns or something? Which bed is this quest item under? I think it's in the first one. I think I missed it. seen this here we're just getting all the keys i didn't know there's a 308 room key spawn right there oh big boy starting fights sounds like a vepper hunter there's someone like on my ass Let me get this and get the fuck out. There's someone like in the bunkhouse right next to me. We just need a punch to it, the tree line right now. <sighs> oh, fuck, I got pinched. Oh, we got stuck in such a bad spot. We got stuck in such a bad spot. I hit him too. 
I want to know how much damage I did to him. There was no good direction for us to go. We got surrounded. There's one dude on the south of us in the other bunkhouse, and then the dude on our right, and then the guy that killed us was probably up on Sniper Rock. So that was just fucking unlucky, dude. Hit him three times and only did that much damage. Damn. Damn. So even though we managed to get to our quest item in the bunkhouse, we just pushed it way too early and ended up getting surrounded by so many players. One of them was right on the bunkhouse with us, and then we had two on our left and right once we got up to the top of the hill. But like I always say, nothing you can really do but learn, live, and move on. So we're grabbing a Mosin, hopping back on woods, and trying to see if we can pull out the quest item. All right. Okay, so we're going to do this a little slower uh, and probably nab the item at the end of the round. God, we had a bronze line too. That that just sucks. I'm trying to think what other direction we could have ran out of there that would have been safer. And I can't think of it. I mean, maybe if we push to the big warehouse, that might have been safer. But then I was scared about that guy on our ass. All right, check this for a key. There's a decent key spawn in there in the suitcase. All right, so this is a semi-popular spot to sit. Oh my God, everything is just telling me to push. We're rocking SMB, so the... Jesus Christ, what is... Oh! That's a three stack. Um... If they push up the hill, I, I'm going to run back. If I had the foul, dude. If I had the goddamn foul. That's Sturman. They might be rushing Sturman. Oh, no. JK, they're still there. Probably gonna go up the death blade on the right. Let me see if I can get a wide shot. I doubt it, but maybe. Okay. Well, I know where they're going now. All right, we're gonna push. We might have an opportunity here to catch him at the uh, the shack. I'm only doing this because I only have a Mosin. If I had anything more expensive, I wouldn't be doing this. But this could be a good fight. This could be a good fight, so. I want to try to catch them as they're fighting Sturman, which means I need to crunch up the timeline here. I think they're in the shack. Is that at me? Oh, that's, that's <sighs> Sturman fucking cracking rounds at my ass. <sighs> Brought a CMS, right? <sighs> I'll do this quickly. I'm gonna wait for them to start another fight with the boss and then push up. <coughs> Honestly, they're pushing so fast, they might have gotten clapped by the boss. Yeah, because I'm hearing chirps. I, I feel like all three of these guys died to the boss. I think they all rushed their deaths, but we're gonna slow peek this now. Yeah, because the boss is still up. <coughs> I need to s shut my guy up, so we're going to eat one of these. <sighs> that last one was a solid hit. We might have dropped him with that last one. We're gonna have to remember that spot and check it later. I'm not gonna push to it right now. I'm more concerned with these three tards that sprinted up the hill. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Oh my god! I think that was scab boss. Just unlucky, dude. I didn't even see him. Did not even see him. This is a brutal, this is a brutal day. Brutal day! 
brutal yeah no no all three of those guys okay so we did clap that one guy <laughs> so we clapped the one usec but all three of those dudes that charged up the hill they all died <laughs> <to scat boss. laughs> they all died because we got killed by scat with my scat boss so <laughs> so when we looked down there on the water and we saw those three dudes run up the hill <laughs> They all got fucking clapped one by one by scab boss. <laughs> and then we were the fourth, the, the last one to get clapped at the end there. Oh, that is, that is, that is pretty funny. Like the context of everything that went down right there. That was, that was, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, uh, uh, dude, those guys were pushing so fast up the shoreline. And then all I heard was Sturman shooting. I was like, yeah, these guys probably got clapped. Um, that was pretty funny. We did drop this guy at range, though, which is fun, but... Oh, God. Scab boss. So that last raid was pretty hilarious. We did manage to drop that one guy at range, but I totally thought that that three stack that was pushing into lumber would last longer than that against scab boss. Uh, by the time we got up there to try to flank them and come in from behind while they were engaging the boss, they were all dead already, and scab boss just immediately started targeting me. So really unfortunate, but I just could not believe that those three guys got dropped that fast. Anyways, it was time to roll back into woods once again, trying to get this freaking quest item. And to mix it up and to break out of this tilt, I decided to take in our lovely foul, which is always giving us good luck, slap on attack tech, and see what kind of damage we could do. I, I looked over and I was like, please, for the love of God, no. <sighs> Where do we go? I think we're at dig far right we got a pretty close spawn here i'm gonna push through sniper rock and challenge the checkpoint spawn um just because i want to try to knock those guys off the field fast I pushed here pretty fast, but... There is a chance that they meet me at the same time right here. I'm gonna push through the rock and clear the other side and then turn around. If I can come around the left side of the rock. I'm gonna spook him with a nade. Wide flank on the left. I'm hoping they didn't displace too far. These guys Houdini'd hard, holy shit. These guys who do need so hard. Oh, they pushed through. They did. Now, where's your friend? We don't push this way, no matter what. That was a very... Oh, there he is. There we go. Okay. They committed to that. I didn't expect them to have the balls to actually commit to that fight. Usually, if you get ambushed, you don't push into an open field like that. So, that play is, like, really whack. There's no reason they should have pushed across. Because, like, that's the last thing, you know, in your mind... Like is, hey, we just got ambushed from the front, and there's no governor to the front. Let's push through that. 
<laughs> I respect I respect the aggression. I can respect it. All right, there's a hill here, which will work to our advantage if we stay low. Of course, this guy's body. Uh, I'm not going up there for a pepper hunter. I'm sorry. That's just not what I'm gonna do. Yeah, this guy got a nice o OPSKS. His friend is a Vepper Hunter that I'm not really down to die for. We're just gonna go up and grab the tag. Fuck it, we'll grab the Vepper Hunter. <laughs> Alright, I wanna double back through the way I cleared. Safest path. Still some shooting in the lumber mill, which is kind of worrisome, but we're not in there right now, so not too much of an issue. <sighs> that looked like a player. Maybe player scav. Or it was just a normal scav. He's all alone walking in the open like this. I think my I'm overweight. Oh well, yeah, I'm hella overweight. Oh, it's the extra armor. Okay, all right. Let me just double check, make sure. What is this? Oh, it's a player. Oh, it's a real player. Lol. Okay. He's wearing a U lock. What are you doing out here, brother? All right, we're gonna have to drop the second set of armor. A lot of people don't like the weight changes. I actually think they're great because I I fucking hated seeing people running around with a. Weapons crate. Just yeeting everything and jumping out of windows. I actually did not enjoy that. So, this was a good, good thing. A 40 mil nade, nice. I'm gonna take his mags just in case we use his gun. Take this stuff. Drop. We're still overweight. Holy. That's another foul. There's some spicy shit going on down there right now. I want to get better eyes from that. So we're going to push to VX. So when I clear this hill, I don't go all the way to the top. It's too much to watch. I just play the low ground right here. This... I just hang out in this slope, usually, when I'm solo. Because very few people will come here. Because it's such a terrible spot, like visibility is low. But that also means that you're covered a good amount. So I, I, I do enjoy playing this low ground area. The one thing you do have to watch out for is people sitting up on spine. Because if anyone's going to kill you at, in this location, it's going to be them. Or a sniper from way across the way. We're going to leave that scab up. Early warning system. It's really, like, that's that's a great um, example of when to leave a scab up, because he'll watch your back, you know? If anything comes up behind me, he's either going to get shot or start the shooting. So this is a good angle for me to scope things out. I'm going to just keep wiggling every now and then, just the tiniest amount. Because it could end up saving my life. But it's looking pretty clear here. We're gonna start moving down there in a second. Now that I know that there's a scab on my back, it's a lot of information that I can use. Um, my main threat now is gonna be near the warehouse or someone point blank at the bottom in the, in the bunkhouses. So using scabs to your advantage, I think we talked about that. I mean, I think it's literally the title of one of our episodes. I don't know how he's alive. We're gonna press him right now because I, I lit him up so he's either gonna be bandaging or hurt a little bit. I don't want him to met up. I really want to press him in here. So if I don't see him on this back, it's it, it's because he's in the house. He's in the house. Fuck. 
He's not dead. I stuttered so hard right there. Wait, he's gotta be dead. Did I just not see his body because I stuttered? Oh yeah, he's there, he's right here. Okay, all right, all right. cool, 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 cool. So I fucked up that nade, but he didn't know I fucked up the nade. <laughs> It went in the building. Oh, fucking RIP, dude. All right. He thought the nade went in the building. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. This dude totally thought the nade went in the building. That was that was pretty comical right there. The man totally thought we got the nade in the fucking window. Holy. That was... Quite, all right, I'm not I'm not spending time to go through this guy's fist. I'm telling you man every time we take this foul out we get a good raid oh this is our foul boy that's some good info right there uh, I'm trying to figure out how we loot this if we loot this I think we just leave the empty foul maybe this just got goodies in his pockets yeah he does What's this? LCD? Broken LCD is worth a good amount. Go ahead and eat this, and then put the LCD in our pockets, and then we'll drink this apple juice as well. Alright. Okay. Sounds like a scav firing out there. I totally thought that was going to be a key card, but I'll take that as well. And went through the pockets here. All right, we're going to make our way. Actually, we're going to we're going to reload first. <clears throat> All right. So, after we load this mag, we're going to take a second, look outside, get acclimated, and then push to our quest, get the quest, get out. I'm pretty satisfied with what we've accomplished so far in this raid. Go look out here. All right, and we'll go. All right, so one thing um, you might have noticed, I don't know, experienced players uh, might have picked up on it, but like when I was looking into that window, I didn't even see him. I just started putting rounds in the window uh, because one thing that will happen, and this I learned from experience, is that if you wait to see him in the window in such a dark room, like if you try to like... <sighs> pick out his his frame in in the darkness there's a lot of the times what will happen is he'll already be looking through the window and in the time it takes for your brain to register what's in the dark there he'll just shoot you so i just started packing rounds into the window because i would imagine he's gonna be in there and i was going off the sound cues if i was hitting him or not uh because honestly i, I didn't i couldn't see him at all i i didn't see him at all and if you, and if you wait to be able to see him there's a good chance that by your time you by the time your brain registers that there's a person in the window he just claps a shot off and you and you die a horrible death so suppress the windows if you're in a situation like that just start packing them with rounds we're gonna check these see if we can get a uh, a lucky key again no maybe a paracord and then we're gonna go i'm not gonna bother looting the uh chest because we're already full on stuff i don't need to get that greedy aluminum splint yeah sure all right let's get out of here all right hopefully there's we're gonna go up the way we cleared because usually there's no one up here very few people will, will sit here just because it looks like such a trash spot but honestly in my opinion that's what makes this this area right here so good is that no one comes here no one looks here and so you obviously get a, a huge advantage if people don't look and check this area because it's such a bad spot, but there's so much tree cover that you get a lot of concealment without even realizing it. There's a secondary extract over here. If you see the smoke and the smoke's up, we're gonna make sure we're on full auto. Flashlight on so I can see. 
Now, some people might be going right there. Don't turn the flashlight on. They'll know you're coming. Well, unless you're trying to go into the room quietly by, like, crouch slow walking, they're going to hear you coming anyways. Okay, so if they're going to hear you, they already know you're coming. Turn on the flashlight so you can see what's going on in front of you. So that was a good raid. As per usual, the foul, just an amazing rifle. Holy, look at that. I mean, yeah, they're all, like, little newbie noobs, but... There's some good fights in there. Some really weird plays. Actually, I'll be honest. All of these kills were, were on very weird plays by them. <laughs> like the first two guys that were punching directly into the ambush across open ground. Questionable, but I, I salute you. I salute the the aggression there. Uh, yeah. Uh, this And they got that nade out. They actually threw the nade at the right timing. Uh, I actually would have liked to see them throw the nade a little bit sooner to like kind of block off that area from push. But they did manage to throw a nade out after they got engaged. So they're doing something right. Uh, the second pistol dude was just walking in the open. And then the two dudes hanging out in the shed just panicked. They straight up panicked. Um, <laughs> first guy was like sitting out in the open with a rifle. And then the second guy thought the nade landed in the room when it didn't. And ran straight out the doorway. Uh, <laughs> so a couple meme fights. But still had some fun there. And just like that, the foul never fails. We've had this weapon since day one of our playthrough, and it's just gotten us out of so many slumps, it's killed so many players, and it's just been so good to us. So we went out of our way, we named it Exfaliver. Now this was a suggestion from chat, so don't roast me, you can roast each other. Uh, but yeah, we now have named our foul that has gotten us out of so many scuffles, and it is named Exfaliver. <laughs> So with that woods quest out of the way, it was time to kit up and move into Shoreline to try to get something out of the third floor of the West Storms. All right, why am I looking at the ground? Holy. You guys are the big troll. Yeah, I, I kind of need the extra nades if we're going into the Shoreline because get out of sticky situations, need that for a quest. I always check this house because you can find some really good goodies in here. Toilet paper. Anyone need toilet paper? Someone shooting sh uh, nine mil down at the beach. Plex. That was a big rifle. Dear Lord. Someone is cracking rounds. Well, the good news is most likely he's going to draw all the players over to him. Because that gun is fucking loud. I missed a paracord. If I go back and there's no paracord, I'm breaking up with you, okay? If I go back and there's no paracord... I'm breaking up with you, chat. We're done. We're through. You can come by tomorrow and pick up your stuff. I'll leave it outside. What if there's some dude in this house? Wouldn't that be funny? Alright, we're done. We're done. I'm cutting the stream. We're done. <laughs> We're fucking done. Oh my god. You guys are the ultimate trolls tonight. What's going on? What's going on here, huh? You guys are in, in too good of a mood. You guys are having too much fun. This is a serious stream, all right. I I don't know if you heard, but I'm 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 a cringe milsim gamer. We're not we're not allowed to have fun here, okay? That's illegal. <clears throat> we might third party this since we're back here, cause you guys fucking made me go all the way back here. What the fuck? Hello, game. All right.
Now what's going on over here? He's probably hugging the wall. There's a scav spawn that uh, is over there. He's probably fighting it. So I'm just going to see if he comes towards me, which I don't think he will because there's no real reason for him to. Okay. That was all chat. Nah, nah, you don't get credit for this one. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. This poor soul, dude. <gasps> this is our fucking M700 ball. Oh, oh. <laughs> fucking chat. Fucking chat. Fucking chat. I can't believe you guys. You idiots. You idiots. I take back what I said, chat. You were on my side the whole time. It was all a plot twist. It was all just a massive bamboozle. It was the long game. I see you, chat. Well played. Well played. Well fucking played. Look at BS. BS went right through this. That's why- that's why I like BS. BS is a fantastic fucking round. I'm gonna keep this loaded. Oh. If we were shooting BT, that guy probably would've gotten away. Top kick. Do we still do this quest? I, I don't know. We got a tack tack. I I am on. I, we're gonna come back because this tack tack is. This kid is is money. We can always just come back. Uh, so that's something that you should also get used to. Is like, you can always come back to a raid to do your quest. If you get some good stuff, hey, just you want to get out of there. That's that's the rat move. Okay. We gotta be like I said. Like I said. You're watching the playstyle of an economically responsible Chad or the Brave Rat. Which, yeah, however you want to put it, that's what you're watching. That is the gameplay that you are witnessing. The economically responsible Chad. Financially responsible Chad. It's a little sketch, not gonna lie. Okay. All right, we're out. So even though chat tried to troll me, we still came out ahead in that last raid. We dropped that big boy with the tac tech and the M700 and got out alive, but that still meant we had to go into Shoreline third floor to grab our quest item. And the raid after this one did not go quite well. This is one of the situations where like, I wanna hear a gunfight. There we go. All right, so there's an M4 inside the resort on the east side. Short burst usually means it's a scav. Because usually whenever there's players, they'll they'll spray. Because you, you don't know when that player goes down and you want to make sure he's down. Unless it was a clean headshot, but usually you'll hear a lot more shots. So M4 player and East storms just dropped the scav. So that's why it's important to know how players act and like the certain guns and where the sound is because like just off those two or three rounds that's how much knowledge you can get off that play fuck he heard me come in i knew he was there that's why i went to peek it oh he heard me come in so we kitted up one last time this time with a very fast boy kit to try to get into the third floor of that shoreline resort to get that quest item and get out fast and this is how the last raid of that day went all right uh oh good spawn good spawn okay kind of good spawn all right so because we're going straight up to third floor i have to really plot my path so we're literally gonna sprint dump all the way up to helipad then cross helipad diagonally going to the west side of the dorms go in through the south entry and then push immediately all the way up to third floor. And technically, 
<laughs> Unless someone on the opposite side of the map is doing that and absolutely sprinting the hell out of there. Um, their sprint and going up all the way across West Storms to the, like, Sky Bridge. We should, we should get there pretty fast. Especially with this fast, uh, casket. I'm just gonna go. I'm spooked. I thought I heard someone on the right there. So he did also try to sprint all the way over here. He's above, he's doing his quest. Which one is it? It's this one right here, isn't it? There's another guy in the second floor. We should be good. I don't think he's gonna chase us up here. We're gonna go back down the way we came. Actually, no. We're gonna go out this way. Troline is a fucking mess. We're gonna hug close on the wall as we exit because he's gonna be in the windows. And I wanna cut- get underneath his gun, if that makes any sense. So, like, he can't shoot us now because he's gonna be sticking his head out the window because he'll hear us. He's still in there. You hear him on the wood. He's going through and hitting key rooms for loot. You can hear his key. He totally thinks we're in there with him, but we're not. He's spooked too. But the fact that he has nades means he's looking for a fight. It means he's probably got something that'll mess us up. So we're just gonna push out. We didn't we don't have the gun to really take a fight like that. Well, but we got our quest. We're gonna push for extract and just hop out. Um going into any kind of dorms or resort kind of style building solo unless you're absolutely juiced is difficult really difficult because you don't have anyone to, to hold the hallway while you go into a room and when you give up that hallway coming out of the room is bad 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 the second you go into a, a room as a solo player if someone's remotely near you and knows that you went in the room you're fucked I heard something on my right. Yeah, I did. I don't know if he heard me. The fact that he stopped too makes me think that he heard me. Two? No, just one. If there was two, I would have heard an immediate set of footsteps immediately after right there. But it was just the one. I'm gonna go wide and check just to make sure his friend's not, like, tagging far behind. Because this guy's huge. He's using the fridge backpack. So, he probably thought he heard me, and he stopped. To see if there was actually someone there. And then, I just played it patient, and he got impatient and pushed over the ridge.
All right. Oh my god. All right. Oh, that's a yikes, buddy. Oh, that's a big yikes. I hit him in the face. If we did not hit him in the face, we would not have won that fight. I'm fat fingering bad right now. What's in here? Oh, I should have put the alt in on. I fucked up. Oh, he dropped someone too? That's a yikes. Uh, we're probably just gonna ditch this rig and take his. Fuck, he didn't have any meds? Oh my god, well we're not stopping. We're overweight. We're still too fat. Uh. How is he running around? God damn it. I'm trying to figure out how we do this. Alright. Most likely we just sprint down here. We're just gonna have to do it in chunks. If this guy had his Alton down, we would have gotten smacked. But he was he didn't have his Alton down, so Rip, we're in a fort in an Alton and not using it properly. <laughs> if you wear this, <laughs> you better put it on. <laughs> So, if he had his stuff properly equipped, he would have absolutely entirely smacked us. He would have smacked us so hard. But the man just was not wearing it. Let's see if we can just lighten us up a little bit. I don't know, dude. Can I make it? Oh, God. I'm just barely not going to make it. Please, no one walk up on me. Okay, I think we're good. I mean, we're a tank right now, so. Cool. All right, so that went pretty well. I think the guy was just way too confident. Like, he totally heard me because he, we both sprinted and then stopped. And then he was, he was like, huh, I wonder if I heard anything. <laughs> and then he just kept going. He, he didn't, he didn't play it careful. He literally just tried to tank through it. He, he was so confident there was no one there. Um, that's why, like, I, when I stopped as well, I was like, I can't tell if I heard someone. But I trusted my gut. Because if I didn't trust my gut there, I would have just kept going and he would have heard me and absolutely clapped me. Um, but yeah, look at what we... <laughs> pretty big boy kit here. So, rip. Uh, level 24. With that kind of strength? I don't know. That's a little interesting. Um, but that was a pretty good raid. We're probably going to end the episode on that one because that was... He came out with uh, a lot of stuff here. And that just about wraps up day 9 of our Escape from Tarkov Standard Edition playthrough. We're still holding steady at a 49% survival rating, we got 3 quests done today, and we're steadily climbing our XP ladder. But anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And if you're trying to get the full unedited VOD, make sure you hit that blue join button and join as a $5 member to get access to that content. Also, the next stream for day 10 is probably going to be tomorrow, so make sure you hit that bell button to get notified of when that happens. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.